Hey, I'm Sarah, and on this channel, we share how to create realistic textures in nature and also document the process of what it's like to start up your own art business. I am so excited to show you this next section of this mural. When my client came to me and they wanted it as Instagrammable as possible, I pitched this idea of having mermaid tails because the part of three feet of the wall, you can stand behind on the left side of it uh, when you're going up the hill to their parking lot. Anyway, they love the idea. So now we have our Georgian Bay mermaids and this is just so fun. Everybody has been stopping and taking pictures with them. I was actually kind of really surprised at how much use they're getting uh, just from when I'm there painting the rest of the mural. But anyway, I wanted to start with a green tail. Uh, I just thought that was super fun for color. And you can kind of see I'm adding in some of the highlights. We're just really playing with the texture of concrete to add some of those scales effects to the tail, which were super fun and it was really quick to paint. So we are kind of creating a gradient from a dark blue to a green and then adding some of that really light lime green and white highlights uh, to the tail to try and get it looking uh, three dimensional. Then for the next tail, we went with a dark blue purple color just to add some variation to the mermaids. I wanted them to kind of be cooler colors still so that they weren't you know, super out of place with the rest of the ocean background. So we didn't do anything bright pink or orange. And these are just so fun. And I really wanted to have a really light kind of fin at the back uh, of this guy. So you can kind of see how it just kind of really fades out into the water column. And this one I played a bit more with adding bright red, bright blue. You can kind of see it took a little bit longer than the green one to really kind of get the all the scales that I was happy with in it. And I just think that's, you're more used to seeing green fish than purple fish anyway. So I had a bit of an idea more of what to do for the colors there. But anyway, we finally got to a place that we were pretty happy with it. I really wanted to have lots of different variation in the colors there. So it looked really bright and colorful. And we're gonna see the mermaid tails getting some use at the end of the video today. So stay tuned. Okay, so next we are chalking in some of our other elements that we're gonna have in the underwater section. So starting off with some scuba divers, I really wanted to have a few divers to kind of celebrate the diving culture that we have uh, in Grey Bruce and up the Bruce Peninsula. So we wanted to do two scuba divers and I kind of played around with it because I thought I could get them a lot more detailed than I actually could with the size of them, keeping them proportioned to the shipwreck, I ended up having to make them a lot lighter and really just focus on some key features like highlighting the goggles and the tanks to really have like the hint of them being scuba divers there without having a lot of details because the concrete was just really kind of getting in the way of painting small things. Painting the scuba divers really changed what I'm gonna plan for smaller details I was going to do for the rest of the mural as well. So now we're adding some uh, rainbow trout at the bottom. So these ones are kind of far away. And then we're gonna get to the star of the show. This is going to be a rainbow trout that's a little bit bigger. It was hard to do all these details and get the different gradients of color on a fish that's this size in the concrete. And you can kind of see there's a bit of a line down the middle that's just natural in the wall. So I was kind of having to work around that a little bit. But um, yeah, it turned out really well. And then I went in with a liner brush and I did all of the black spots kind of individually. So it was really fun kind of getting all the gradient of the fish, all the highlights in. And then now I'm gonna go in and do all those spots that really kind of make it look really hyper detailed. And a lot of people comment on the shipwreck and the fish at this point uh, of the project, which has been really kind of fun. Um, to see so it was nice and uh, you can really see the whole fish just kind of come together after this feature was in so this took a bit of time to do all these individual dots but I think it's entirely worth it and it's going to be part of another interactive part of the mural coming up as we're going to have a fishing pole that it's attached to so now we're going to go in and do some lettering so I started off the lettering with chalk chalk is my number one go to will not paint without chalk and it just really helps kind of keep your uh, spacing for the letters and i had a level up quickly the time lapse didn't catch it but to make sure everything was all level at the bottom 
So thank you so much for watching and the uh, hashtag Georgian Bay Mermaids are ready to go outside your local meat shop and Century 21 on Main Street, Wyarton. And we just had the best time painting these. And I hope you come and stop by next time you're driving up the Bruce Peninsula and show them some love and send me the pictures because I love to see them.